Yeah, I'm walking along with all this beauty, like I say so many times. Just seen some snowy egrets that I've taken a po- photo of them in flight. I feel like a happy sand girl. Because this is closed to the public in the winter, apparently, or you're not advised to do it at its back. Maybe the tide's right in. The river parrot over there running along over there. I'm glad they've cut this grass. But of course I suffer with hay fever, so I'll be suffering. I've got me uh, inhaler and I've got other things. And the other thing, of course, is ticks could get me. But, you know, it's a risk I've got to take. I'm heading along this bank. All the way over there. In front of me is Stirt Hyde. I'm hoping it gets me there. By the time I've walked all the way along here. Just having a look. I don't want to go on a wild goose chase. I won't be I won't be impressed if I find there's a huge ditch and I can't get to it. Look, they've even cut the bank down there. For people don't want to watch birds, I suppose. No, it's weird that there's not many people out, but like I said, once again, I tend to go out in the week because you don't get lots of people. You can video, you can enjoy the scenery with the piece. It's a, and you can video this. Look, I haven't got like bunches of herds of people in front of me. But it isn't easy walking on this stuff either. It's not like a nice, where I've been work, walking on a path. This is a bit of a turfs of grass twisting and turning on your hip, on your um, ankle. And there also looks to be either loads and loads and loads of spiders or their ticks. Hundreds of them. Some with eggs on their back, I've just noticed. So I have to like shake myself off when I uh, finish. I've just seen one with a huge nest on its back. Oh, I don't know if you get snakes here. So I haven't worn my, um, I haven't worn my, um, long boots today. I already feel like something's got me. Oh dear. Hopefully not. But apart from that, apart from the fear of ticks, and soon probably horse flies, at the moment I'm not being pestered by them, because I had some really, really nasty bites last year. Oh, it's, it's evened off a bit now, how long this bit? It's evened off a bit. Look, I look like the first person that's been along here. Isn't it beautiful? I'm just videoing a bit of it so that people can appreciate all what is around. In the distance, the church at West Huntsville. Where's the famous barrage balloon I'm always talking about? For once, it's not in view. That's, oh yes, it is right back there now. Right back there. Of course, because I've not done this before, I can't say, oh, I'll get there in uh, five minutes or 20 minutes. Yeah, I think it was one point. I don't know if it gave a, a figure. I think it was 1.7 miles. Um, it was a bit long, longer than if I'd gone back along. Um, there's the men over there with a the blue car. If I'd gone back through the road, which I might, I probably will come back that way. Because I did really want to go and have a look at the chapel on the way back if it's open. So I probably will walk up that route. But you can see how isolated you are if you are on your own. 
Now this is no. not easy walking on this. Especially when you've got an allergy to grass, like me. But I'm going to do it. If my feet aren't getting wet, but I'm more worried about the ticks. They might not be ticks, but even if not, not ticks, they're scary looking spiders. Oh, so let me just stop again a minute. Let me just stop again. I probably had that on Zoom when I was walking then. I don't know how long I had that on Zoom either. I don't know how long I had that on Zoom. I'll just do a little bit more and then I'm going to have a break from videoing. They said it's nice to stand at the breach when the tide is coming in so you can see the water gushing into the marshes. Yeah, there's more. I'll just zoom in over there a minute where those cows are because um, there's more cows where those workmen are now. There's the workmen. And there's more cows now joined. They're, they're very anxious, those cows. They could be waiting for water, you see. Right, over and out now.